Well, I shot for 10 hours today with a pile of heavy camera gear, and other than my sunburn, you don't hear me complaining, and I don't have any muscles. I'm all fat and tattoo ink. <sighs> Makes no sense. It's not a logical position to take. Uh, I'm going to make a video about weather sealing. Um, a lot of people hold the wrong notions about these things, and uh, they'll actually show people, uh, you know, dropping, uh, spraying water on their DSLRs, and they talk about weather sealing, a lot of people ask me about it. And the thing is that you need to understand that none of these, none of these uh, cameras, doesn't matter how expensive it is or how good it is, they're not really weather sealed. <laughs> they're not really weather sealed. The weather sealing is only for aggressive water, not pervasive, uh, such as uh, humidity or uh, creep. What is creep? Creep is uh, where water actually seeps in due to extended exposure. When we talk about aggressive uh, water, we're talking about, uh, you know, uh, I really, you know, the rainstorm comes down and your camera gets wet for five or so minutes, but, you know, eventually cover it up, cover it up. You stick it back in your camera bag. It got a really heavy dowsing for a few minutes. Okay, so that is weather sealing. Every one of these cameras, no matter how expensive, has this gigantic freaking hole on the front. And it uh, doesn't matter what sort of lens you got, whether it's got a rubber gasket on it or not. Um, well, it protects against short-term aggressive attack uh, from water. None of these cameras uh, are uh, sealed against pervasive A, humidity, or B, creep. Like I said, what is creep? Creep is like on this vertical grip, water getting in and touching the contacts and causing corrosion. There's a giant hole on the front of this camera, and even if this lens has a rubber gasket on it, the, uh, the pervasive nature of the humidity and, the, and or the creep, one or the other or both, the creep, of uh, the water or the humidity will seep in. There's a pile of circuit boards in here too and flexi cables and the flexi cables are sealed but the contacts aren't. Um, there's a lot of it easy to happen. People are like, well I got, a, I got a Nikon uh, D810 and it is uh, weather sealed. It's like no, it's weather sealed against aggressive water, aggressive short-term water attack. It's not uh, it is not sealed against pervasive, okay? Aggressive versus pervasive. People have no idea what the difference between the two, and the difference is, is that, one, your camera is safe against uh, a short-term aggressive, but is 100% not safe, no matter which model you got, against the pervasive. People learn this the hard way when corrosion forms on the circuit boards on the inside of their cameras. And uh, especially true the creep and the humidity forms like you're taking your camera from a cold spot outdoors where it's humid uh, weather sealing doesn't help you there you'll end up with the corrosion uh, due to hot, fast temperature fluctuation and then corrosion will form and then uh, someone's camera will die and they'll send it into Nikon and Nikon will go water damage and then you'll go but it never got wet I never once had it out in the rain. It's like, well, you know what happened? It is the humidity and water got in there anyway because that is pervasive. And no Nikon, no Canon, no Nikon, no nothing is sealed against pervasive water attack. I hope I made that clear because nobody else has made a video about this fact, but they should have, but they haven't. Why haven't they? I don't know. It's a very good question. Maybe they just don't know or not smart enough but anyway i think i made that abundantly clear and yeah i, I did repeat my, repeat myself a couple times so <laughs> humble apologies